Okay, we do have some breaking news to tell you about with regard to the Jarek Chauvin trial. Uh, jury deliberations, as you know, we're uh, continuing today. We have word that there has been a verdict. Yeah, the ex-Minnesota police officer charged, of course, with three counts. Uh, second degree manslaughter is the uh, least damning charge. Also second and third degree murder. The uh, the, the strongest charge there is a second degree murder charge, which if convicted, Derek Chauvin would face up to 40 years in prison for the death of George Floyd, May 25th of uh, last year, of course. So we're waiting to get new information. The jury just got, Bob, just got the case yesterday afternoon. Yep. It was two o'clock our time. They deliberated for about four hours yesterday. Uh, then they called it a night, and then today we've been reporting it as the first official day of jury deliberations. So what we're hearing is that the jury has been deliberating for 11 hours. As you may know, the jury has been sequestered for security reasons. So as soon as uh, the case was handed over to the jury, they went into deliberations immediately. They're put uh, normally into a room where they're to discuss and look over their notes. Typically, when the verdicts come back so quickly, and again, this is just typically, it's not to say that this is what is going to happen, but typically it makes a strong case for the prosecution that they were able to get a unanimous verdict among all of the jurors. Uh, to uh, come up with a verdict. Typically, if it lasts a little longer, right. there could be the potential for a hung jury or th there could be some divisiveness among the jurors. Right, and so we're just seeing that the, the, the verdict will be read uh, Tuesday afternoon, obviously today, uh, this afternoon. Uh, it's central time there in Minneapolis, so it's 2.30 in the afternoon. So we're just going to wait until the judge, of course, uh, reads that verdict.